from no to yes, the psychology of closing deals. In the world of business, closing a deal successfully is often the ultimate goal. It requires understanding the art of persuasion and the psychology behind convincing someone to say, yes. While there is no magic formula for closing deals, there are certain psychological principles that can significantly improve your chances of turning a no into a yes. In this video, I am sharing my experience and together we explore the psychology of closing deals and provide you with some valuable insights and techniques to enhance your negotiation skills. Building Rapport Before diving into the negotiation process, it's essential to establish a positive rapport with the other party. People are more likely to say yes to those they trust and feel comfortable with. Take the time to establish a personal connection, actively listen to their needs and concerns, and show empathy. By building rapport, you create a foundation of trust, making it easier to persuade them to agree to your proposal. Understanding needs and interests. To effectively close a deal, you must understand the needs and interests of the other party. What are their motivations? What problem are they trying to solve? By empathizing with their perspective, you can tailor your proposal to address their specific concerns. Highlight the benefits and advantages that align with their goals, demonstrating how your solution can fulfill their needs. Reciprocity. Reciprocity is a powerful psychological principle that can influence people's decision making. When you give something of value to the other party, they feel a sense of obligation to reciprocate. Provide useful information, share insights, or offer small favors during the negotiation process. This fosters goodwill and increases the likelihood of them agreeing to your proposal. Social proof. Humans are social creatures who often rely on the actions and opinions of others to guide their own decisions. Incorporate social proof into your negotiation strategy by sharing success stories, testimonials, or case studies of satisfied customers who have benefited from your product or service. By demonstrating that others have already said, yes, you create a sense of trust and credibility, making it easier for the other party to follow suit. Scarcity. The fear of missing out can be a potent motivator. By emphasizing the scarcity or limited availability of your product or service, you create a sense of urgency and desire. Highlight any time-sensitive offers, exclusive features, or unique advantages that they stand to gain by agreeing to the deal promptly. When people perceive something as rare or valuable, they are more likely to act quickly and say, yes. Framing and anchoring. The way you present information and frame your proposal can significantly impact the outcome. Use anchoring techniques by starting the negotiation with a higher value or price point, then gradually work your way down. This creates a perception of value and makes subsequent offers seem more reasonable. Additionally, frame your proposal in a positive light, focusing on the benefits rather than the drawbacks. By framing the conversation favorably, you increase the likelihood of a positive response. Conclusion. Closing deals successfully requires a combination of strategic thinking, effective communication, and an understanding of human psychology. By building rapport, understanding the needs of the other party, utilizing reciprocity and social proof, emphasizing scarcity, and employing framing and anchoring techniques, you can significantly increase your chances of turning a no into a yes. Remember, closing deals is not about manipulating or pressuring others but about finding mutually beneficial solutions that meet everyone's needs. With practice and a genuine desire to create win-win outcomes, you can become a master at the psychology of closing deals. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to support the channel and content creation.